Hey guys, welcome to the video today. I'm just going to show you a neat little trick uh, with MT4 and MT5, and that is how to actually get them in portable mode. So portable mode, um, it's I like to use it because it's really annoying when you have to reinstall MT4 or MT5 because something breaks and then you got to reinstall the whole thing and you set up all your charts and, and do all that labor again. Um, with portable mode, I'll show you how it's really easy to restore your setup if something breaks, like you download a faulty indicator or something, it crashes, um, and you have to delete everything and re reset everything up. So portable mode is great for that. And what portable mode actually allows you to do is open multiple MT4 or MT5 instances. So you can have three or four MT5s open at the same time and they're all using the same account. So you, I don't know, for example, you may have a uh, your candlestick MT4 here. You may have a Renko one over here and a Heiken Ashi one over here. You can have them all um, set up specifically tailored to what you want to do in their own little like sort of workstation environment. It also allows you to move your MT4 or MT5 installation to another folder or another computer. So sometimes when I'm traveling, I will um, copy my MT4 or MT5 folder, the portable folder, into a USB or copy it over to my laptop and how I left things on one computer, they'll be cloned on the other computer. Okay, so they're the advantages of working with uh, portable, portable mode. You, trust me, you're gonna love it. So I'm setting up MT5, Go Markets offer MT5 now. So um, I'm gonna use this in, as an example uh, of how to set up portable mode with MT5, but uh, basically the procedure will be pretty much identical to MT4. So what you want to do is if you haven't installed your MetaTrader, um, install it. So here with GoMarkets, we're going to use our installer here and just click settings and take note of where it's going to install the MetaTrader to. So you need to know this folder because that's where all the files are going to be stored. Okay, uh, we don't want to open their website and we just click next. It's going to install. When it's finished, we just finish that and it's going to open up for us. Okay, so basically, this is how MetaTrader opens basically by default. This is the, the first screen you see with that MetaTrader 5 when you open it. So this is the problem with a standard MetaTrader installation. What we do is we go File, Open Data Folder, and you can see that this uh, is using a app data folder inside the Windows Documents or users folder here. So basically what it's done is split the MetaTrader installation in half. Half of it's in a, a Windows app folder somewhere and the other half is in the program files, which are, is where you specified to install it. So this is the annoying part uh, and I don't like this at all. Like you, you can juggle both folders if you want to copy your MT4 somewhere else and, and, and try and um, replicate the app folder and the installation folder on another computer, but portables are such a much easier way. So forget this, okay, uh, close this down, and what we want to do is navigate to where we installed the uh, original files. So here is the program files of my computer, and we should see, here it is, go MetaTrader 5. This is where we told it to install it to. So this is how you create the portable installation. You want this folder, okay, and you just want to copy it, uh, copy, okay, and put it wherever you want. Uh, usually I just put it on the desktop to start with. So we copy those files here, so we paste them. And now we have a folder which we are going to convert to the portable mode. So the way that, um, like if I just go in here and open terminal again, it's just gonna open the standard install and go open data folder. It's using that app folder again. Okay, that's a global sort of setting. So that's no good. We want everything to be contained with this in this folder. This specific MetaTrader to you localize in this folder and not use any external variables, whatever, so we can move it around and do what we need to do. So the uh, way to do it is you have to launch terminal 
64, okay, it'll be terminal 64 in MT5, but in MT4, it's just called terminal. So the quick way to do it uh, is to make a shortcut to the terminal executable. And how we do that quickly in Windows is hover over it, okay, just select the file and then hold down the right mouse button and drag, let go, it'll give you this menu, create shortcut here. And then we get this shortcut. Uh, what I would do is name this to portable. Okay, so we know that we're gonna run this in portable mode. But we have to modify the settings in here. So we right click again and we go properties. And here is where we need to make the changes. So uh, at the end, right at the end, past the quotes, we need to do backslash and type portable. Okay, just make sure there's no spaces on the end there, um, just to tidy things up. Okay, but there is a flaw to do, doing it this way and I'll show you. So we click apply, click okay. Now when we run the shortcut, it's gonna open the terminal executable with that portable uh, switch. Okay, so here we go, we've opened it. Now everything looks the same here, but how do we know that it's actually uh, opened in portable? Sorry, I've just gotta bring that into focus of the screen for you guys. So how do we know it's opened in portable mode? Well, we go file, open data folder, and look, look at the uh, directory here. It's changed. It's changed to my desktop where I've actually put the, um, the portable folder. Okay, so that's how you verify it's running in portable mode and it's pointing to the folder that you want. But what if we close this down and we either move this folder somewhere else or we rename it. Um, so we'll call this MetaTrader file. This is this is gonna be a totally different location. All right, and this could, we could move this to the USB to another computer. And this is a problem you're gonna have is when we run portable. Oh, it's actually gonna work. Okay, so I, I ate my own words there. Um, it seems when I renamed the folder, all of this, uh, all the settings in the shortcut got re renamed as well. So let's co copy it to another drive, which is what I normally do. Okay, it seems like maybe the last time I checked this, Windows um, must have updated. Um, and it, now it adjusts shortcut code. So maybe you don't have to worry about this, but this is what I do just in case um, Win Windows doesn't modify the pathing here. What you do is use this macro, this one here. This tells the, the shortcut to open the command prompt and start terminal 64 in the local folder with the portable switch. So if you're moving the file around or whatever, uh, it doesn't um, throw out an error and say you can't find the file. Uh, so in this starting part, I'm gonna delete that. Um, and we just have this code in here and said that that's the way I normally do it. Previously, when I was moving things around, um, it, didn't, it didn't update the shortcut, but I think maybe in a Windows update, they've updated that. Okay, so now we're on the D drive. We've got uh, the MetaTrader 5 folder here. We just open portable. You can call this what you want. Um, you see there, it just opens like that. Okay, and open data folder and we're there. Okay, so now we can move this around, do whatever we need to do. So the other thing is, I wanna show you um, the advantage of having the portable is we can back this up really easy because everything's contained in this folder. So what we can do is just right click on there send to compressed folder, okay? And here we have a zip file, we can call it backup. Now, if anything ever happens to our MT5 or MT4, we just basically go in here and everything is set up how we want, how we backed it up, and we can just restore the MT5 or 4 um, with this backup folder here. And that's basically just what I wanted to show you, how to run it in portable mode. So this is gonna be uh, a precursor to uh, my next tutorial, which is going to be how to 
basically uh, set up MT5 or how I like to set it up um, for my price action trading and, and unlock different time frames and symbols and set everything up um, perfectly. So that's going to be up next. Thanks for watching the video. Hope the portable mode thing helps you out and I'll see you in the next video.